Mixed-grass track automation goes way beyond basic volume and pan automation. Almost any parameter of an effect plugin or an instrument can be automated. In this first example, we'll automate the wet-dry mix and feedback level of Mixcraft's classic delay effect applied to a drum loop. Let's start by adding the delay effect. Click the Effects button for the track, and I'll select Classic Delay. And I'm going to hit the Edit button so I can see the effects controls. I'm going to close the Effect List window over here because I don't need it. If I hit Play right now, we can hear the effect. And if I manipulate the Direct and Effect Mix knob, that's with no effect that's completely wet. So ideally we want something in the middle. Now I'm going to use track automation to automate the wet dry mix. We'll start by pressing the automation button for the track right here. And this defaults to track volume, which isn't what we want. So if I click on it, a pop-up menu appears. And where it says track effects over here, all the insert effects for that particular track will show up. So right now I just have this classic delay on there. And when I mouse over this, you can see all the effects parameters show up. Panning, type, mono stereo, and so forth. Since I want to automate the wet dry mix, I'm going to go down to Mix over here, and now it says Mix. So now let's add some points to automate it. I'm going to start on 0, and I'm going to go halfway up because I want the mix to be 50-50 between Effect and Dry. And now when I press Play, you'll hear the effect fade in, and you'll see the knob move. And I can add more points and fade it right out. And as you can see, you can add points or move them around freely during playback. Now let's automate the feedback parameter. I'm going to add another automation lane by pressing the plus button over here. And again, this defaults to volume, so I'm going to click on it. And then I'm going to select feedback over here. And right now it's on zero. So I'm going to make this go up pretty high. And back down again. Let's listen. You can also record automation moves by moving the controls directly. Here's how. Press the arm button in the automation lane for the parameter you'd like to record. Then move the song position line to the position where you'd like the automation to start recording. Then press record in the transport and start moving the control you'd like to record. We'll have a standard record countdown, which in my case is four clicks. Two, three, four. And now I can move the control that I want to record. and press stop when you're done. Now when I play back, and like any other automation curve, I can click on the points and move them around, or right click them to edit them. Keep in mind that you're free to automate as many parameters of a plugin as you like, so you can really get creative. Track automation can be used exactly the same way when using virtual instruments. In this next example, I'll use track automation to automate the Mini Moog VA's filter cutoff control. First, I'll view an automation lane by clicking on the Tracks Automation button right here. And again, this defaults to volume. So I'm going to scroll down, and you can see I've already got a Mini Moog VA set up. And then I'm going to go up to Cutoff up here. And you can see it says Cutoff, and it says the instrument name. And I'm going to add some points, just like I did before. I'm going to go from zero all the way open, so this is going to slowly open. And like with other automation parameters, you can see that the knob actually moves when I press play. And just as we did earlier when we recorded the delay feedback knob being moved, we can do the same thing here. So I'm going to move this over a little bit. And we'll arm the automation track for recording. And then I'll press the record button. And I'm going to mouse this. When you're done, press stop, and I'm going to hide this. And there's all my crazy movements, so let's listen to that. And just like with the effects automation, you're free to add and automate as many parameters as you like. 